What's up guys, my name is Emma Speck and Reviews, and today we're doing a review on the Wise Watch 47. The Wise Watch comes in around $20. I got the 47mm, which is about 1.8 inches. The actual screen size is 1.75 inches, and the resolution is 320 by 385 But they also have a 44mm, which is about 1.7 inches. The actual screen size is 1.4 inches, and the resolution is 320 by 320 The frame of the watch is made of an aluminum alloy, which makes it light and durable. The actual glass on the screen of the watch, all that I could find was that it said it's made out of a crystal. Since I've been wearing this watch for the past two weeks, it has held up. I haven't noticed any scratches from any of my daily use. The watch itself doesn't feel like a $20 watch, but the band that comes with it makes it feel like it's more on the cheaper side. The size of the wristband you're going to need if you want to change it out is 22 millimeters. I went ahead and changed mine out to this $20 one that I got on Amazon. I like the blue and black. The battery size on this watch is a 300 milliamp lithium battery. It is said to last for 9 days, with a charge time of 2.5 hours. And while testing this watch, I have noticed that it does last the whole 9 days, which is really cool. The watch is waterproof up to 2 meters or 6 feet, up to 30 minutes. I have taken a shower with this watch and washed my hands and just normal use that you'd get it wet or dirty, and it's held up just fine. To control your watch, you're going to need to set it up with the Wise app. Through the app, you can control things like notifications, stretch reminders, activity goals, your do not disturb, rise to wake, wearing wrist, running in the background, and your apps, such as weather and shortcuts. Remember to set your information about yourself under my info. The information you're going to need to provide is your body type, your birth year, your height, and your weight. And you can also authorize third-party apps to get the data from your watch. I have Google Fit under mine. In the notification settings, you can set up whatever app you want to notify you on your watch. So far, I haven't found an app that doesn't work for me. Keep in mind, I am using Android, so on the iPhone, it might be different. To access the notifications on your watch on the main display, you just swipe down. When you get the notifications on your watch, sometimes the notifications will just be marked as other. For example, when I get text from Signal, that's my main texting app, it'll just tell me other, and then it'll tell me a little description of what the text is. When I get an email, it will tell me that it's from my Gmail, and also a little description of what it's about. When you get a call, the watch displays the number from the caller. It doesn't show that the ID that you made for them, or a caller ID or anything like that. And it only gives you one option, and that's to hang up. The watch does not have a speaker or microphone built in, so you can't answer directly from your watch. Stretch reminder is great. Sometimes I forget to get up and move around. Stretch reminder is great and reminding me about every 50 minutes to get up and just move. Activity goal is where you can set how many steps and calories you'd want to burn in a day. The watch does calculate steps really well, but when it comes to burning the calories, I believe the calculations are off. When I compare it to Google Fit or another app that's on my phone, the calories burned that are showing on Google Fit are way more than the calories burned on my watch. To access the data, first, from the main screen, you swipe right. Then you're going to tap the app that looks like three little bars. This will give you the steps you've taken today and about how many calories you've burned today. You can also access this data through your WISE app. You just open the app and it's at the bottom and it says data. And then from there you can click whatever you'd like to see. From steps to calories to oxygen levels to heart rate to how long you've slept for. Do not disturb. You can set your watch to turn on do not disturb from the time you select. For example, mine's set for 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. So I won't get any notifications or vibrations from the watch when I'm sleeping. You can also access do not disturb from your watch interface. Just turn it on and swipe up and you hit the bell icon and it'll turn do not disturb on. Also on this screen, you'll see your battery life of your watch, the weather. You can change your screen brightness. There are three different brightnesses, low, medium, and high. And if you also need help finding your phone, you can hit the little phone icon on and it'll make your phone ring so you can find it. The rise to wake function allows you to lift your arm up and look at your watch like normal and the screen will turn on. And then when you put your arm down, the screen will turn off. You can set a time period on when you want your watch to do this. For example, mine's from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So when I'm sleeping with my watch, it doesn't blind me in the middle of the night. You can also access the rise to wake setting from your watch interface. First you swipe right, then you swipe down. You hit the little cog wheel on your watch and then you go down to rise to wake. There you can turn it off or on or look at the schedule. You cannot change it from the screen. 
Currently, the watch does not support always on display. You either have to have it on rise to wake or use the button on the side to turn on your display. Wearing wrist just lets your watch know if it's on the left hand or the right hand. Running in the background helps you set up your phone to help WISE run in the background for your watch. Weather. It can set the location automatically depending on where you are, or you can have it set to a set location of where you'd like. And you can change it from Fahrenheit or Celsius. Shortcuts. You can create a shortcut with one of your other WISE devices and you can control it from your watch. Create a shortcut, go to create new shortcut, you add the device that you want, in my case it's going to be my camera, and in this demonstration I'm going to put turn off the camera. I put save, I add a name to it, I'm going to just call it turn off, save, and then you're going to have to press the plus button to actually add it to your watch. Once you press the plus button, press save, and now you should see it on your watch. On your watch you're going to go from the main screen, swipe right, hit the star, and turn off is there. You can only have up to 10 shortcuts, and they only work with WISE devices. You can customize the screen. There's 44 different screen types you can choose from right now. Since I've gotten the watch, it seems like they have added at least 8 more different screen types. I'm sure as the watch continues to grow, they'll probably add more different screens that you can choose from. The watch itself can only hold 3 different screen types. So load up your favorite ones, and then when you want to change it, you have to load up the app, and then load it to your watch. When you want to change the screen type on your watch or background, you go to the main screen, you tap, you hold, and it'll go small, and then you go from left to right to select the three types of screens that you preloaded onto your watch. The exercise timer you can set, it'll keep an eye on how many miles you went, how many calories you burned, your average pace, and your heart rate. And when you finish your workout, it'll tell you how long you went for, how many miles, the calories you burned, your average pace, your average heart rate. The step counter show you how many calories you burned, how many steps you took for today. The oxygen meter will measure your oxygen levels by throwing out this little red light in the back of your watch and it'll give you an approximation of your oxygen levels. The heart rate monitor will give you an approximate of how much your heart's beating. I say approximate because I'm not sure how, how accurate this watch actually is, so just keep that in mind. But when I did use my mom's iWatch and compared it to the Wise Watch, they were both getting the same reading, so I think they're pretty accurate in that sense. Sleep tracking. It'll tell you how long you've been asleep for. For me, it does show the right amount of hours that I've slept, but it doesn't show when I actually woke up like in the middle of the night and I stayed up for a while. It's probably because I wasn't moving, but for me it always shows that I'm never awake and that the light sleep and the deep sleep or whatever percentages they are that night. There's women's health tracking. What it does is it keeps an eye on your menstrual cycle. So you have to enter your information of when you started and ended and it'll give you an estimate of when your next one is. It's also helpful if you have to go to the doctors and let them know when your last one was. There's an alarm. When the alarm goes off, it'll just vibrate from your watch. It doesn't set a timer to your phone. There's also a timer. The timer you can set from one minute to 60 minutes, or you can also make a custom timer. The star is your shortcuts that you made for your WISE device. There's also weather. It'll tell you the weather, and if you scroll down, it'll tell you the forecast for the next four days. In settings, you can change your wallpaper. Under heart rate, you can set it to continuously monitor your heart. It will reduce your battery life, but if you need that, it's there. Brightness, you can just change the brightness of your screen. Do not disturb. Rise to wake. System control, you can just restart, shut down, or factory reset your watch. Compliance information is just about your watch, what model you have, the power, your serial number, and that kind of information. The belt also gives you your device name and your MAC address. As for apps on the watch, there's no other ways to load different apps onto the watch at this time, which is kind of a bummer. So what do you guys think about the Wise Watch 47? Would you guys pick one up? Is not having the speaker and microphone a killer for you? Let me know down in the comments below. To me, this watch is worth $20. It does the basic functions that I need it to do. I wanted it to at least count my steps, tell me the time, and some notifications from my phone is nice. The battery life is great on it, no complaints there. I love that I don't have to charge it every day. 
I do like how it looks, and with a more fancier wristband, I'm sure it would look even better. Some of the things that I do wish that would be added on is the ability to answer the phone, add new apps, and if it could get a microphone and speaker, that'd be kind of cool. But for my needs, I don't really need that. That's just more of a want that I need. This was the review of the Wise Watch 47. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you. My name's Emma Speck and Reviews, and I'll catch y'all later. Bye!